When I first started with JavaScript, I'd go to great lengths whenever I needed to work with individual characters in a string. I still see some of that in JavaScript. In this tutorial, we are going to look at efficient ways to work with individual characters in a string. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click the bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. In JavaScript, strings are iterables, which make them much easier to work with. You don't need to use the char at command to address a specific character or characters. So, for the example we will use to show how we can work with strings, let's say we have this string here. And in this string, we want to count how many letter O's the string contains. So let's talk about how we might do that. So I would probably use one of two basic approaches. One is to use a for loop and iterate through the string. And while I'm iterating through the string, check each character. Now, this is possible because a string is an iterable and we can address each character using square brackets. However, we can even simplify that more using a for of loop. In that sense, we don't even need to use the square brackets to address the specific string. So str square brackets zero would be the letter n. But we can get away with even using that using a for of loop. And so that's probably the first example. The second approach is I would convert the string to an array and then use reduce to determine the number of letter O's. Let's look at both solutions. So first using the for of loop. Now I want to declare a count variable and set it equal to zero. So we'll start with that and then we'll set up our for of loop. This is how we do a for of loop, let the value of string. So it's going to iterate through every letter and each letter will be placed into this variable here. And so from there, it's pretty easy. What do we want to check? Well, we just simply use an if statement if val dot to lowercase. I'm, I'm converting it to lowercase because I want to make sure that I account for uppercase and lowercase o's that equals the letter O, then we seem simply increment count like that. And then at the end here, let me just uh, log to the console our count variable to see what we got. All right, let's give that one a try. See how that one works for us. And we get 12. There are 12 letter O's. Believe it or not, I actually counted those just to make sure we get the right number. All right, so that is using a for of loop. And because strings are iterables, that works for us. So pretty simple approach. Now, let me comment this out. And well, let me comment this first part out. And we'll take a look at the second approach. I'm going to leave that console log statement at the end so that we can see the results of that as well. Now, this uses the reduce method of arrays. So I'm going to convert it to an array and then use the reduce method. If you're unfamiliar with the reduce method, I talk about it extensively in my advanced topics course, also in my functional programming course. But I also have a, tutor a tutorial on it and I will link to that in the description section. So here's how I'm going to set this up. I'm going to set a variable cnt and set that equal to, and first I want to convert the string to an array. And I can do that with the spread operator. If you're not familiar with spread operator, I'll include a link to that as well. Basically what this does is just spreads out that string into its individual characters and then each of those become an element in the array. 
That can also be done using array.from like this. That would do the same thing, okay? I prefer the shorter version with the spread operator. Then, since that is now an array, we can do dot reduce and access the reduce method. Now, the reduce method requires that we pass in a function. A function is passed in as the first parameter, and that function acts on each value as we move through the array. Now that function will receive two parameters, an accumulator value, as it continues to go through the array, what accumulates, what value accumulates, that's in the accumulator value. And then also the value of each element. So it this will contain each element in the array. All right. Once again, I dive into those deeply in a different tutorial or in those courses I mentioned. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to do a lengthy if statement here, but then I'm going to modify it in a minute because I prefer not typing an entire if else statement if I can avoid it. But let's do that first so it's easier to understand. So if, and once again, we convert it to lowercase for the same reason I talked about before. If that is equal to the letter O like this, then what are we going to do? Well, we will return the accumulator value plus one. Okay. Now, the reason that works is because the second parameter we pass in to reduce, which I'm going to put down here, is the initial value of the accumulator. And so that's going to be set to zero to begin with. So the first O we find will return zero plus one, and that will be stored here. The next time through, the accumulator value will be equal to one, and so it'll be one plus one, and so on. So that's how that works. Else, just return the accumulator, okay? Now, let's see how that works for us. We're logging the count variable to the console. Let's see if we get the same number. I refresh, open the console. We're getting a zero, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, well, I need to have the letter O, not zero. Okay, there we go, save that, try it again. And there we got 12. Now I mentioned I prefer, if possible, to simplify this. And I can do that with the ternary operator. The ternary operator could replace in one line these five lines. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I have a tutorial on that that I can link to. So, so here's how we'd set that up. I'm going to put the condition first, val.2 lowercase oops, equal to O. Okay, so that's a condition. If that is true, then we add one to the accumulator value. If that is false, then we simply have the accumulator value. And all of this here gets returned because we're returning either this or we're returning that. All right, so there it is in one line. Save that. And we're still getting 12. So much more simplified using the ternary operator. And this is probably the method I would prefer. I prefer working with arrays and using the methods that are provided with arrays. But that shows us how we can work with individual characters in a string and a couple solutions for doing that. Before we are done here, please hit the like button. And remember, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you'd like to become a patron of this channel, there are additional benefits to certain levels. You can follow a link in the description for that. You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, one with my face, 
Also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website allthingsjavascript.com for a complete list of tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching.